the Lotus Tower, one of Sri Lanka's iconic landmarks, celebrates its first anniversary since being open to the public. Joining us today is the CEO of the Lotus Tower Management Company, Major General Prasad Samarasinghe. Let's kick things off by talking about the number of visitors to the Lotus Tower. Up to now, we have got 11 lakh, 170 people up to yesterday visited the tower. Then 28,702 uh, foreigners have visited. So it's a massive achievement. Let's talk about your team. We are very keen on learning more about them. We have generated funds and of course about 1 million we need per day to run this. Electricity, water, then all our salaries and all. We have only 72 people, uh, 72 uh, people in the company. But uh, initially we had only about 8 before we started. But now we have about 7, we have almost 72 people. With them, somehow we have got everything done for the last one year. So it's an uh, achievement. And, but we have many more to come. Can you tell us what security measures are in place at the Lotus Tower and how effective have these measures been in stopping out of all things vandalism. Security wise you can see because we don't have my uh, person's physical security but uh, when you take all the CCTV systems uh, we have so many cameras and all uh, high-tech uh, security equipments have been placed but when you go to the observation deck the mentality of our people so most not everybody few we have we have arrested them we have handed them over to the police and uh, they have been charged uh, but now we have taken a certain uh, decisions and we have taken some action and preventive measures now you can go up and see they can write on those things we have got the uh, light boards and uh, various places though they can write we have protected them uh, which they can't write nobody can write even that if you want you can damage but i uh, request from everybody all the all the people our our citizens those who come here this is our national icon this is a public property this is your property so you must uh, never ever damage this we must protect this so now of course i think no nobody will uh, do that except one or two but uh, we have controlled that situation can you give us an overview of the project's financial sustainability uh, every day in the night everywhere you go around colombo very illuminated and we are not a burden to the country of course we will not be able to get the complete 113 million us dollars within very short time but this will be the icon of sri lanka everybody now get getting the experience of this even in the night even during daytime even now you can see how many people have become to visit this place or company uh, we are we have to earn to run this place and also we must make profits because uh, first two years we are paying 100 million to the trc as the least as the least rental we already paid first 100 million then the second 100 million next year we'll have to pay definitely we have money there's no problem in that we hear that the lotus tower now offers a diverse range of attractions could you tell us about what's new to the overall experience we had only the observation day now we have got innovative centers uh, people those who come children kids areas now we are going to open we have invested that and you can go and see that uh, we'll be opening very soon for the kids uh, we have ordered from china and digital art museum that will be the hit because we don't have any digital museum in sri lanka so we have got the equipments we have ordered the equipments from abroad and we have got the creative uh, things done getting done and it will be open in december then uh, restaurants the all in restaurants will be open to the public uh, in november that you can even now you can see they are really Refurbishing it. We have the banquet halls. Already there are uh, weddings, functions happening there. Then uh, we have souvenir shop. So almost about uh, 4 million income we get from there itself. That is run by the company. Then once you go down, you can see different areas, ice cream parlors, then 10 food outlets. We have signed agreements. Then outside also. We have signed agreements. Uh, the boards will be there by about next month. Considering the diverse spectrum of society in Sri Lanka, how have you guaranteed accessibility to the Lotus Tower while at the same time addressing pricing disparities? When you take, we had th thought about the place for all the segments of the country. People, those who are in low income people, middle, top and fine dining area. So we are developing it according to that because this place was done from our money. Even the poorest in the Sri Lanka in society, they have spent for this from their tax. So they should be also given a chance to come and enjoy this. That's why we have uh, got the tickets for 500 and 200. 
for children. And of course, for the foreigners, twenty dollars we have to get. So when you go out, when you go to other countries, we spend more than that to go to a tower. So we are the nineteen tallest tower in the car, in the world. So to maintain this, we have to get the money. But for everybody can enjoy fine dining restaurants. Will be even uh, we will not be able to go for that. Our plan, we have got the plans done for all the segments of this country. So when you go out, you can see the restaurant outside, even from uh, Elephant House, uh, Coca Cola, the Elephant Curry Pot, and Tasty and various small small restaurants are also there. Then when you come inside, you get different type of uh, restaurants. Then when you go up, it will be different. Definitely, uh, you get the uh, fine dining, revolving restaurant. Then in 187 meters, we are going to have a complete different exclusive restaurant. So various segments are being looked after. So even after 10 years, our children should be able to come and enjoy here. Critics have labeled the Lotus Tower as a white elephant. Some even call it a burden to the country. Major General. Could you outline the strategies and plans you and your team have put in place to achieve financial viability? So in 2012, they have uh, they had different plans, but in 2000, it went on till 2022. By that time, the different uh, governments, different concepts, and it was a burden to the country, definitely. Because 113 million US dollars project, we have got only 88 million loan. Out of that, by 2016, the ba Exim Bank has given only US dollars 66 million. The balance the government has spent, Sri Lanka has spent to complete this. And out of 66 million, only 14 million to be paid back because without opening this even we have paid from our funds in the sense our country we have paid the loan so without earning a single cent we have paid only 14 million to be paid it was a burden definitely but our aim is now you can't keep this uh, like that no just close it and just uh, can't have a so dualia for every day no? so that is why we came up with different plans for business proposals and now we can see that we are a successful company because we have earned we have proved but we are definitely not only the money as i said this is the icon of Australia. everybody those who come to sri lanka foreigners and everybody will come here and entertainment so this will be the icon and you can't get everything from roi is not only from funds no whatever you earn so uh, also the uh, business you get how many jobs you have created opportunities thank you for speaking with us major general i'm daru donaswala for the morning